The pollution that set off these alerts isn't entirely our fault. WCCO's Joseph Dames picks up our team coverage with where it's coming from and what you can do about it. Minnesota is being outdoors. No. Gauging the smoke has passed the test for Robert Del Prado, who intends to spend some time outdoors today. It seems like it's higher aloft than it is down, so it doesn't seem to be affecting me. But the wildfire smoke is noticeable for others. I don't like being around real thick smoke. This is pretty thick. Limiting the time downtown this afternoon. 30 minutes maybe. Go out, look at the river, look at everything around, go home. And as we wait out the wildfire smoke, David Brown, air quality meteorologist, says sometimes these air quality alerts may be from ozone. More often than not, when we have ozone, it's, we, it's associated with southerly winds and we'll get those pollutants coming up from, say, like Chicago, um, from Kansas City, from St. Louis, those areas. So what's the difference between wildfire smoke and ozone pollutants? Ozone is a gas. It's made up of three oxygen molecules. And up in the stratosphere, um, it's obviously very helpful because it filters out ultraviolet radiation, um, which is obviously harmful to us. But near the ground, um, when it's inhaled by, um, by people, it can cause respiratory distress at, at higher concentrations. The same type of respiratory distress that comes from wildfire smoke, like today. So what can you do to help limit the trouble? Avoid outdoor burning. Don't use wood burning devices. Reduce car trips in idling. Minneapolis, Joseph Dames, WCCO News. Meteorologists, uh, meteorologists say this has been a record start to the wildfire season in Canada.